Destruction of society, sadly, is well underway, folks, and it's being led by the Joe Biden administration, at the direction, of course, by Barack Obama. Over 100 former Obama staffers have been reinstalled into what looks like their old positions at the White House. What we are seeing now is Barack Obama's third term. Joe Biden is just a vessel, an empty suit to be used. The mission, through Joe Biden, is to destroy the culture we have now. And what we are seeing, from politics to entertainment, it is a coordinated assault on society as we know it. The Obama's best friend, Oprah Winfrey, right? Well, she turned her sights on the royal family. They, too, must be declared as racist, so they, too, can be canceled. Meghan Markle seemed happy to oblige. Concerns and conversations about how dark his skin might be when he's born. What? Shock, right? Oprah Winfrey hit pay dirt. Now the left can cancel the monarchy to Meghan Markle, all the while eager to comply. She declared her son, not given the title of prince, must be all about race. Not the widely reported theory that Prince Harry may not actually be the son of Prince Charles, if you heard that one, or the fact that the rules of the monarchy do not automatically grant little Archie the title of prince because his father is never going to be king. Instead, it must be that the child is one quarter black. I could never understand how it wouldn't be seen as an added benefit mm -hmm. and a reflection of the world today at all times, but especially right now, to go, how inclusive is that, that you can see someone who looks like you in this family, much less one who's born into it? All right, so sadly, the ratings for this interview rivaled that of the Super Bowl, which tells you all you need to know about this country and, of course, where this country's headed. This is what most Americans are hungry for, the interview you're watching right there on your screen. Salacious allegations surrounding the rich and famous race baiting and even complaining from a spoiled brat prince who has the audacity to try to make all of us feel sorry for him when most of the world is still suffering. This, this constant barrage, it's a very trapping environment. And the specifics around her race, it was an opportunity, many opportunities, for my family to show some public support. I myself was trapped. He was trapped. A prince trapped. Oh, boo freaking who. People can't pay their rent. In California, where Prince Harry lives now, business owners have nearly lost everything they worked their lives for. And 60 Minutes gets to record record-breaking ratings for an interview of a prince who now lives in a $14 million home in Montecito, California, and he wants us to feel sorry for him. This, while Congress pushes forward with that massive spending bill that will force far too many Americans to become even more reliant on government. But that is secretly what it is designed to do. It gives the welfare state a rebirth, all part of the plan, to fundamentally change America forever. All of this is connected. And yet we hear from far-left radicals about this bill, $1.9 trillion. Well, it's somehow it doesn't go far enough. The House is controlled by Democrats. The Senate is controlled by Democrats. The White House um, is in the hands of an administration that is a Democrat. Uh, and so, you know, I don't know how this makes any political sense. We obviously are now ultimately sending um, money to less people than the Trump administration. Well, I appreciate that she gives President Trump some credit here, but come on. Eileen Omar pushing the idea that this $1.9 trillion bill should go even further is all smoke and mirrors, and I believe it's part of the Democrats' plan. They dispatch people like her to go make you think that one of the largest spending bills ever passed in the history of the United States Congress isn't really all that big. It is, folks. But America ignores this news. 
as well as the news that H.R. 1, that bill that will corrupt elections forever in favor of the Democrats, will also ensure that the changes the Democrats seek will remain in place for decades to come. From letting felons vote, to mandatory mail-in ballots, to eliminating voter ID, even registering millions of illegals to vote. The goal is to transform America from the land of the free to the home of the oppressed. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.